it's Eva Feldman. This is section three of organ transplantation and today we're going to talk about immunosuppression. Immunosuppression is needed to prevent graft rejection. Our immune system is programmed to recognize self and attack non-self. In organ transplants, the recipient's cells attack the donor cells. This is called rejection and it leads to graft dysfunction <coughs> and eventual failure. This is important. Immunosuppressive therapy is the treatment necessary to increase organ acceptance. Here are the goals of immunosuppression. Of course, you want to give enough medication to prevent cellular rejection, but you also have to think about other things. You have to minimize complications while you're doing that. You have to avoid toxicity. You have to prevent reactions and also prevent opportunistic infections because immunosuppression gives you a greater risk for infection. There's a lot to think about here. There are three phases of immunosuppression, induction, maintenance, and rescue. Let's discuss each phase in more detail next. Induction of immunosuppression is during the peritransplant period. The purpose, of course, is to prevent acute rejection, help the graft to survive, protect the kidneys from toxic effects of the calcineurin inhibitors, which we'll look at that in a moment, and to lower the steroid dose. The goal of therapy is to reduce or eliminate the recipient's T cell response with the use of anti-T antibodies. So these are medications that will attack the recipient's T cells and B cells, and they're very powerful. Your textbook goes into some more detail. Some of these induction medications can cause what's called cytokine release syndrome. Briefly, it's when all these immune proteins are suddenly into the blood. They can cause severe illness and if untreated can even cause death. That's why pre-medication is required. For maintenance, a single med is not going to be enough. They need to use a regimen, a combination of meds to lower the effective doses and to have a synergistic effect because they work better together. They're more effective. Triple therapy consists of three types of meds, a low-dose prednisone, and then these two either azathioprine or mycophenolate, mofetal, MMF, I call it Monday, Monday, Friday, and cyclosporine A or tacrolimus, and these are calcineurin inhibitors. These all require close monitoring. Now, calcineurin is an enzyme that activates some T cells, so that's why they wanna inhibit it with these drugs. Calcineurin inhibitors are toxic to the kidneys, so that's why they're holding them initially until renal function is present. For rescue, they use high-dose corticosteroids, and if that happens to be refractory, they have a couple options. This anti-thymosite globulin and monoclonal antibodies, they're listed there, or a couple other options. I'll let you read those, but I do see the Monday, Monday, Friday there. Are you ready for Kahoot? My grandson Hank looks like he's ready for just about anything. See the description below for directions to the Kahoot. Thanks for listening.